Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully address if you find that your keyboard is not working properly in Windows 10. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by left clicking on the start button. And then on the left side, you want to select the gear icon where if you hover over it, it should say settings. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the Ease of Access tile from the main Windows Settings page here. And now on the left side, you want to go scroll down to you find Keyboard underneath Interaction. And you want to find Filter Keys to scroll down a little bit. So Filter Keys is currently turned on. You want to uncheck the box where it says Beep when keys are pressed or accepted as well as turning off filter keys in general so if you want to just turn them off completely it's probably worth a shot to do that so just consider turning that off right there you don't have to but at a minimum I would definitely try and turn off beep when the keys are pressed or accepted so just make sure you do that another thing you can try would be to go ahead and close out of here right click on the start button select device manager You want to expand the keyboard section, so just double click on keyboard or left click on next to it. You want to right click on whatever keyboard is listed under here. And then select update driver. Select browse my computer for driver software. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the next button, so standard keyboard, or it might be a little different in your case. Select next. It should say Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Select so close. So your hardware settings have changed. You must restart your computer for these changes to take effect. You want to restart your computer now. I personally suggest selecting yes. However, just for the purpose of this video, we're going to select no for right now. But again, that's once you've restarted your computer if you're still having a problem. But hopefully once you've updated the driver and then restart, hopefully that should have been able to fix your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.